Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook up the connectors to the Dynamic Shield to control the gripper robot that we built. Today I'm going to be hooking up to an Arduino Do with the Dynamic Shield on top of it. I built a simple mounting system that uses some magnets so that you can easily pop it on and off. First, let's connect up the Dynamic Cell Servo motors. Dynamic Cell Servos are networked, which means we can connect each servo to another one, so we only have to have a couple of wires to control our entire robot. Notice that the connector is polarized, so it will only fit into the board in the correct way. So let's first put in the cable for the wheel motors. Then we'll put in the cable for the wrist. Next, we're going to connect the Grove XB connector. XB is a wireless module that allows you to perform serial communications between two XBs, just as if you had a serial cable connecting them, but instead, it's really going over the airwaves. Grove modules also use a polarized connector. Grove is a really cool modular system for robotics. You can buy Grove modules for all kinds of things, and then you just plug them into the connector, and you're ready to use them. Since we're using an Arduino Do here, we have some extra serial hardware port. So we'll plug this into the Serial 3 line labeled RXD3. If you're using an Arduino Zero instead, then you plug this into one of the digital lines and use the software serial port to communicate with it instead. Now we need to plug in the micro servo that controls the gripper. We can plug this into the header row on the dynamic shield in the first position labeled D2. However, this connector is not polarized, so you can plug it in the wrong way if you're not careful. So make sure to plug the brown ground wire into the top of the header row, like this. Before you turn the power on, there's one other important thing that I need to note. There's a connector or a jumper right here that, as you can see, has it's labeled VDD and EXT. Now, we have our micro servo connected to our D2, which it, 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 the dynamic cells are getting powered from 12 volts, but this servo needs 5 volts. So we want to make sure it's on VDD, otherwise you'll be putting too much power toward your micro servo here and that will cause some serious problems. So you want to make sure you have that in the right spot before you turn your power on. Finally, we just need to connect our power. The Dynamic Shield has a jumper that you can put on to feed power from its power plug into the VN of the Arduino. This means that you can feed your battery into a single power connector and have it feed the entire system. And that's it. With these five connectors, we're now ready to control the gripper robot and drive it around. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. First, let's make sure that our battery's plugged in. You also need to make sure that the battery has been charged correctly. Then we should just be able to, uh, once you've actually uploaded the sketch to your Arduino to make sure that you have the right one in, you should just be able to turn it on. And then immediately you'll see that the the wrist servo and the gripper servo will go back to the default position and we should be ready to drive.
In fact, it's so easy to drive that even a kid can do it. In this video, I've shown you how to connect the Arduino and Dynamic Shield up to a gripper robot and control it. Please see the companion instructable for this video that describes how to build the robot and to program it. You can find a link for it in the text for this video. Thanks for watching.